I'm about to introduce you to someone who might completely shatter your expectations about success and age. He's never set foot in a college classroom, yet he's earning more than many college graduates all from the comfort of his home. But here's what truly blew my mind. He was able to land this job before he even got a driver's license. And in the next 10 minutes, you're gonna discover the three unconventional strategies this teenager used to bypass traditional career paths and create a lifestyle most adults dream of. What if I told you that a 16 year old is making 48,000 a year working remotely part-time? Sounds unbelievable, right? Well, today I'm gonna to introduce you to James who did exactly that. At the end of December, 2021, I was, I turned 16, but yeah, when I started the course, I was 15 years old. So currently right now I'm getting paid um, $48,000 per year. He skipped the traditional route, made a bold choice, and now he's reaping the rewards. And stay tuned because I'm about to reveal the three key lessons that could kickstart your remote career as well, no matter what your age is. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Shane, and if you're new here, we're all about exploring amazing remote work opportunities that can transform your life. And today's video is special. We're diving deep into the story of James, a young guy from Australia who made a decision that most people would call crazy. But that decision, it paid off big time. And by the end of this video, you'll learn why traditional education education might not be the only path to success, how to identify and seize high demand skills in the digital age, the power of taking calculated risks early in your career, and much more. Plus, I'll be breaking down exactly how James went from a high school student to landing a $48,000 a year remote job in just one year. So if you're feeling stuck, unsure about your future, or just looking for a way to level up your career, this video is going to be for you. So let's dive in. So who is James? Well, like many of you watching, he was a high school student facing a big decision, college or something else. I think last year around in the beginning of 2021, uh, so when I was 15 years old, I knew that I wanted to start earning as money as soon as possible. And I didn't really want to go to college. Sound familiar? Well, James was just 15, unsure of his future, but he knew one thing. He didn't want to follow the crowd into debt and uncertainty. And that's when he stumbled upon a YouTube video that changed everything. It introduced him to the world of digital marketing, a skill-based career that doesn't require a college degree. And our first big lesson from James' story is the importance of identifying high demand skills in today's digital economy. So let's break this down. James realized that while his friends were preparing for college, he could be learning a valuable skill and make making money at the same time. He would essentially be getting paid to learn in-demand skills, whereas everyone else who decided to go to college would be paying to learn skills that are maybe in demand, maybe not. And digital marketing, the skill he decided to learn, isn't just a job, it's a skill set that's crucial for businesses of all sizes. I was kind of considering maybe plumbing or electrical apprenticeship and then working my way up and then eventually earning six figures because I heard that, um, you know, I heard great things about plumbing and how um, you can earn a great income, but um, you're better off like getting a high paying job without a college degree and without getting a full year education. Now, I want you to pause for a second and think, what skills are in high demand in your area of interest? It could be coding, data analysis, or even content creation. The key is to look for skills that are one, high in demand, two, can be learned outside of traditional education, or three, offer potential for remote work. Now, James chose digital marketing, but the principle applies to many fields. The internet has democratized education and you can learn almost anything online, often for free or at a fraction of the cost of college. Now, our second big lesson is about taking calculated risks. Now, I know risk can be a scary word, especially when it comes to your career, but hear me out. James took a risk by choosing an unconventional path. He invested in an online course instead of a four-year degree, but it wasn't a blind leap. It was a calculated move. I went through the course to a T and I followed everything um, exactly what he said and to exactly what he taught in the course. And so I, you know, crafted my resume, you know, I was working on interviewing skills. And obviously I was definitely learning a lot about um, digital marketing, more specifically into Google ads. Now let's break down why this risk was actually pretty smart. First of all, he had a very low initial investment compared to college. There's also a quick turnaround time for learning. You have the ability to start applying the skills immediately and there's high demand in the job market. Now I'm not saying everyone should skip college, but what I am saying is sometimes the biggest risk is not taking any risk at all. And James saw an opportunity and grabbed it with both hands. Now our third lesson is all about leveraging 
maximizing your youth and adaptability. When you're young, you have a unique advantage, time. You can afford to try things out, make mistakes, and pivot quickly. And James used this to his advantage. He started with an internship and then moved to a full-time position all before he turned 17. I think starting from the course to my first internship, I think it took around five to six months. And so I landed my first internship in September um, 2021, and I stayed there for six months. Now think about that for a second. While many of his peers were still in high school, James was already earning more than many college graduates. And he did it by being adaptable and always learning. And here's how you can apply this lesson yourself. First of all, start early. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Also, be open to learning on the job. Best way to learn is just by simply doing the thing in many cases. Also, don't be afraid to switch roles or companies as you grow. Always be improving your skills. Now let's talk about something that often gets overlooked, the power of practical experience. James didn't just learn theory, he was applying his skills in real world situations from day one. You have to be a really hungry learner because in order to really strive and excel within the digital marketing field, you always have to be constantly learning. And because like digital marketing is changing pretty much every day, every month, every year. And this is crucial. While his friends in high school were studying textbooks, James was managing real ad campaigns and learning directly from professionals in his field. And here's why practical experience is so valuable. First of all, it builds your confidence, and this is incredibly important and understated. You can read all kinds of different books and watch all kinds of different videos on something, but until you actually do it and you have that reference experience where you did it and it went well, you're not gonna have real confidence. It also gives you real examples to discuss in interviews. An interviewer will easily be able to tell if you don't have any real experience if you can't discuss specific examples of the experience that you have. It also helps you to understand how businesses actually operate. Marketing is incredibly crucial and fundamental to all businesses. And so if you understand how marketing works, chances are you're going to understand how a business works in general. And this is going to help you whether or not you decide to do marketing in the future. And it also allows you to build a network in your industry. So when you start interacting with professionals, meeting people, meeting clients even, this is going to allow you to start building your network. And these are going to open doors and opportunities for you in the future that you probably can't even fully imagine when you first start out. All right, so let's talk numbers. Because at the end of the day, one of the biggest advantages of James Path was the financial impact. Currently, right now, I'm getting paid um, $48,000 per year on my current job. Let that sink in. At 16 years old, James is making $48,000 a year, working part-time. But it's not just about the salary. Let's compare his financial situation to a typical high school graduate. He has no student debt, right? So if you go to college right after high school, especially in the United States of America, you're probably going to have hundreds of thousands of dollars in student debt. Second, he is earning while other people are just starting college. Third, he already has years of work experience before he even gets to that age. And he also has potential for even higher earnings as his skills improve. And this financial head start can have a massive impact on long-term wealth building. Think about the investments James could make, the savings he could accumulate, all while his peers are just starting their college journey. And by the way, if you want to check out the training that James took in order to land this job and basically just learn more about digital marketing in general, there is going to be a free training which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that you can check out that will tell you exactly how to get into digital marketing, all the different types of digital marketing, and exactly how people like James were able to land the job. So there you have it. James' story is a powerful reminder that there's more than one path to success. And by identifying high demand skills, taking calculated risk, and leveraging his youth and adaptability, he was able to land a $48,000 a year job at just 16. Now, I'm not saying this path is for everyone. College can be the right choice for some careers, but I am saying it's worth considering all alternatives, especially in our rapidly changing digital economy. So here's what I want you to do. Identify a high demand skill you're interested in, research online courses or certifications in that skill, set a goal to start learning within the next 30 days. And if you're feeling inspired by James' story, I've got something special for you. In the description below, you'll find a link to a free masterclass on how to get started in digital marketing without a degree. It's the same course that kickstarted James' journey. If you do follow Seth's course to T, and if you follow everything he says, then you will land a job in no time and you just have to be consistent and constantly um, growing. So definitely check that out. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on remote jobs and career advice, and also just how to make more money in general. And drop a comment below letting me know what skill you're thinking of learning. And also check this video out right here where I talk about why digital marketing is such an in-demand skill.